Thank you. On a cold night at the foot of the Rockies, EA Sports coverage of the NFL takes us to Empower Field at Mile High in Denver, Colorado. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Baltimore Ravens and the Denver Broncos. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. At their own 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. They'll run for the first time with Phillip Lindsay. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11 at the 17-yard line. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Faking the give to Lindsey. Here's Locke. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here. He throws it away. And now it's third. Pressure. And that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. A little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. From the gun, it's locked. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by the pro bowler, Marcus Peters. And they will finally stop him, but a great return. Gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, hey, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day, and it very well could be. But early in this one, advantage defense. Now the Broncos are going to take a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Jackson going to get this out to Brown. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. That's probably as simple of a throw as he'll have all game. And good for everyone. Good for his completion percentage. Good for the receptions for the receivers. But you know how they work on that. They have footballs with no laces. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. J.K. Dobbins, his 11th touchdown of the year. And the Ravens have taken the early lead. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. Makes the score. Ravens 7. Broncos nothing. Justin Tucker. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone. So we will start here at the 25. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 16 yards right off the bat and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. The ball carrier. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. End result of that one, a nice four-yard gain. So you can use that to set up your play-action game. Or you can come right back and continue to run the football because as an offensive play caller, you're on schedule and feeling pretty good about your next couple of calls. On second down, a run with Lindsey. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. See the ball carrier. The tackle made at the 47-yard line. 
A gain of two on the play. Brings up third and four. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. A run with Lindsay out of the gun. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. Back deep is Tyreek Hill. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And that is very well done there as this will be marked out of bounds at the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. The big man, Jarrell Casey, in on the stop. Well, every now and then we have to let a cliche fly, partner. And in this case, what do they say in the NFL? Your best ability is often your availability. And this is an extremely durable kid coming out of Ohio State. Carried the ball every time they even thought about running it. Wore down defenses and able to break big runs late in games. J.K. Dobbins going to Baltimore, an absolute perfect fit. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. Well, I can certainly tell my age, partner, because when I was a kid, running backs like J.K. Dobbins with over 2,000 yards in their final season in college, they went early in the draft. Instead, he somehow lasted until the second round. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. And that's their first sack of this game, but how about last week? Six sacks, great coverage downfield, which helped that pass rush. They are really working in sync right now. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. He'll buy some time right. He's going to take off with it. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. A nice job of eluding the pressure there, scrambling for 11. A nickel set defensively for the Broncos here on third down. Jackson from the shotgun. That's complete. It's Devin Duvernay. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And the Raven first down. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. A shotgun snap and again to Dobbins. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. It's Kareem Jackson making the play defensively. Well, at the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start. And Jackson cannot get away, and he'll go down. Bradley Chubb able to record his fifth sack of the season. There's a little bit of defense right there. Nickel set, five defensive backs. They just snuffed out every round that was going. Quarterback never got rid of the football. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. From the gun, it's Jackson. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. Pass the 20. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. Well, when you start thinking of guys that are in the mix for Defensive Player of the Year, I think you use him as Exhibit A. Maybe he's not the leading guy right now, but he's at least on the periphery and deserves to be in the discussion. And because of that, he's looking at a game today where in order to make that big move and maybe become the... And he will take it in for a Bronco touchdown. Melvin Gordon hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying the football game. 
It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Seven, seven. So I'll leave it at 7 now as they kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A tale of two extremes already in this game. A touchdown pass on their opening drive, followed by an interception last time out. Now, it sounds like things balance out, right? What's that, that mythological thing that we do? If you have a candy bar, have a diet soda with it, it balances it out. And we know that's not really true, right? Because the interception, that sting lingers a little bit longer. Got to come out now and put together some nice plays. Now on second and 13, Jackson, man open left side is Brown. And he will be out of bounds here on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. These two teams all tied after one. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. From the gun, Jackson. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. On is the punter, Cook, who sends it away. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Not much there, only a yard. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Lock working out of the gun. This one complete to Jerry Judy. Lock. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. lock on third down he'll go up top here for Hamler incomplete he had his hands on it but couldn't pick it but it's now fourth down thus far they have been able to move the line of scrimmage very well in the running game almost felt like they said in the huddle can you guys pass protect let's take a big shot downfield didn't get it on that one but they may come back to it again And this will do the job nicely as that will be out of bounds just inside the 10-yard line. So they'll play the field position game here as a very nice punt is going to pin them back. Yeah, it's almost like watching a game of tennis or do you prefer ping pong, you know, back and forth like that? That definitely was excellent, wasn't it? The throw here to Andrews, the tight end. And they'll get him down up past the 15, just shy of the 20. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. So here's a first and 10 now, down inside the 20. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. That catch good for only a couple. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. 
They'll roll him out right. And now he's going to use his legs. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Dobbins running out of the gun. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. On the carry for Baltimore. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Flush to his right. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. A gain of Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. Steps away to his left. And that's incomplete. They've given up a few first downs on this drive, but getting the incompletion there, that should give them something to build on and maybe turn the tide. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing again. Jackson. Eluding the pressure right. That is incomplete. Defensively, Charles, they continue to really limit this offense as far as yardage goes. Yeah, you're exactly right. They've been assignment sound, staying in their lanes, keeping proper leverage, and communicating well, too. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Here's Sam Cook now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll send this away into the Rocky Mountain night, and it's a good one. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it'll be first and ten Broncos from deep in their own territory. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. They're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. Throwing on second and three. Lock. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 22 yards there, a first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. A reminder coming up just a few minutes from now. We'll send you to Jonathan Coachman and our crew in Orlando. Coach will have a look back at some of the stats and scores from yesterday's action. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, I kind of like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? Escaping the pressure right. Offensively, they liked their situation, so they tried to take a shot downfield, but no one was open. So it was tucking in run time, and he picks up a first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. On first down, lock. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Got an open man here, and it's K.J. Hamler. 
just falls short down at the one-yard line. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. After the big play, a chance to finish now on first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. Short of the goal line. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. And they'll employ the jumbo set now on second and one. Running left, it's Gordon on the toss. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. It goes as a loss of six. And now third down. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by McManus is good. And the Broncos, the first to grace the scoreboard. It's three zip. So we will not go into the lockers tied. We do have a leader in the clubhouse, so to speak. Yeah, it's only three points. Doesn't seem like much, but it looms big the way that they got it done right before the half ended. And you combine a big leg with a mile-high air. There's the outcome. This will sail out of the end zone for a touchback. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you can... Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Callahan. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As now we send you out to Orlando and hook back up with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Ravens set to receive the football trailing here as we resume action in the third quarter. And this carries into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 23-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go. And sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there and just ran him down. Second down, here's Jackson. Buying time to his left. Able to make something out of nothing there. 17 yards and a first down. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into some windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And they get to him after a gain of six to the 46. JK now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. 
Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 49-yard line. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? Was that five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. Just shy of midfield, Jackson. Open man is Duvernay. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. That is definitely what we call our defense an uh-oh play. And what you mean by that is against Lamar Jackson, when you see him out of the pocket, your first thought is, uh-oh, he's going to try and run it. How do I get to him and get him on the ground? And guess what? That didn't happen, and his receivers took advantage. They'll run on first down. Dobbins, and not much of a hole there as he gets it down to about the 24-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. And it's third down. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Play action. Now Jackson. That's going to be caught. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Tyreek Hill, his 19th touchdown now of the season. And the Ravens have retaken the lead. is good. And this one through the uprights and good. Ravens 14, Broncos 10. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. 20 yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned. Because some teams script to start a half. Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Back to the air on second down. It's Locke. And he's going to lose a yard or two. Taken down behind the line. Tack McKinley racking up sack number 12 for him on the year. So one quick, easy analysis about why they've struggled so far. They keep putting themselves in third and long situations. They just took another sack right there. And the offensive film session tomorrow may be a little longer than it normally is. <laughs> Not a lot of positive grades will be handed out thus far. On third down, lock. And that is incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying we're not playing up to what we're capable of and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. 
And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. At their own 32-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. You'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. It's a pickup. And a lot of times these plays, they either go for nothing or they go for big yardage. And here, they got to the outside, turned it upfield, and ended up getting a nice little gain out of it. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Taken That's down. some good tackling there to keep him short of that yellow line. Yeah, and defensively, all I'm thinking is that on that play, get me to third down. Get me into a position where I can make one more play and get my defense off the field. They'll go again with Dobbins. Well, he's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped him, bringing up fourth down. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. A first down run, good for about three. Second and seven coming up. Leonard Floyd brought him down. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven. At the Another run by Lindsey. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Decided to hit it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. 22-yard line. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing on first down is Locke. He's got his big tight end, Fan. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Shotgun snap and a give to Lindsey. And some room to run now. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. So two first downs, and that moves the ball to the 42 now, first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Philip Lindsey, the intended target, but it'll be second down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, he timed it perfectly and knocked it free. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Three. 
Locke going to try and throw on third down. He's got a man. It's Sutton that's complete. And he gets it down to the 48. Enough for the first. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. At the 48-yard line. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 48-yard line. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. The Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Locke looks to throw it again. And he fires one incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. 46, boys, 46. 45, 64, weak. Block off of play action. He'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. First and 10 at the 14-yard line. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Into the red zone, it's locked. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First down. First and goal at the four-yard line. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll run with Lindsay. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Leads to second and goal at the four-yard line. One man in the backfield, that's Gordon, second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Brings up third and goal. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. I'm going back to you. Go! I got you. I got you. Take up. Get on my baby back. Watch the safety crease. Lock going to throw. In trouble, and he'll go down back at the 12. Tack McKinley, he's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. A 29-yard attempt. And McManus able to put it through, and the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. Their own 25-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson.
That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. And Brandon, this is the time of the game when Jackson can really take over. He's got the defense's legs a little bit tired. He's got them on the run. Yeah, this defense looks gassed, and you're exactly right. Second half with the lead. This is when Lamar Jackson seems to thrive. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they look to try and finish this one off. Gets it to Hill. It's a jet sweep. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Play action now. Jackson. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. And they're going to have this way down deep in Denver territory. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. First down, Baltimore. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. They had the huge play last time. Here it is a much smaller gain of two. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held them to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. This, in all probability, another run here on second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Dobbins. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. But well, they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. It's first and goal and a late touchdown at this stage. Could officially salt this one away. Dobbins. And a little bit of space there. Takes it inside the five to the three. Now the Broncos will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds left to go. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Down to Anigos Jackson, and that should seal it. And how about this finish? Able to take a knee, run out the clock, and close this game out by one point. You talk about <laughs> how many, many coaches we talked to. They all said the same. All I want to do is win by yep. one point. That got tested in this one. Yep, and that cliche rings true. A single penny separates this one. So the final seconds tick away in this Baltimore victory. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them to just a field goal. That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for Baltimore, 